Today is the ninth day of Vlogmas, and we are going to try another festive holiday themed coffee. Today the ingredient is pine, otherwise known as Christmas tree. Unlike last time where I just gave you the best recipe for making eggnog coffee, I want you guys to journey with me on figuring out what's the best way to extract the delicious pine flavor into the coffee. Today our methods will be all natural pine oil, a fresh picked steeped branch, fresh chopped pine needles poured over with the coffee, and a royal pine tea bag. First we're going to start with the full branch steep. Here I just have, you know, about a about a three inch branch off of a pine tree. I'm just gonna just gonna dunk it right in there and let, let nature do its good work. Just pulling those delicious, delicious pine oils right out of it. Second, I'm gonna try just a drop or two of this. We can always add more later if if it's not if it's not enough. Just carefully. And two. Perfect. The tea bag. Just right in there. Just it's not going to get all quite covered, but you got this, you know, you can anchor it around the handle. And finally, I'm just going to fresh chop right now these, these pine needles. You really want to wait to the last second. You want to keep it locked in there up until the last possible second. So I've got about, I've got about three grams here to go with the, the 15 grams I'm using in my, in my filter. Just like last time, these are all 16 to 1 ratios with 15 grams of coffee to start. I'm just going to simply and deliciously pour over this coffee. Get that, get that nice bloom to start. Let it let it breathe for a few seconds. We're just gonna do we're just gonna do one just one pouring session here. Mm, smell those aromas. I mean, unfortunately you can't at home, but when you try these, it's just delightful. All right, and now for the moment of truth. First, I'm going to try the natural steep. Also, if you are suffering from scurvy, adding pine to your coffee is a great great source of vitamin C. Not bad, not bad. Not quite as piney as I'd like it though. Let's, let's put the oil. Mmm. Yep, no, that's that's definitely got more of a more of a kick to it. You know, there's a little, something a little a little synthetic about this one. I'm not not huge on it, but you know it's convenient. It's like it's like instant coffee. Mmm. That is, that is good. That is good proper extraction here. Dang. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to give it to the pour over. That just had a delightful, well-rounded pine extracted from it. Now granted, this wasn't bad. Maybe a little less would be good in a commercial environment, uh, like, a, like a Starbucks or something. But unlike the mistake last time, rather than taking it to the streets for a bunch of people who don't really know coffee, I'm gonna take this to a pro to test out. All right, so I've got here my friend Beth, who you might remember from decorating my beard. Um, she actually also maintains a coffee shop, so she knows she knows good coffee. So I want you, to, I want you to try this, try to guess the Christmas flavor in this coffee. It's a Christmas flavor. Um, it tastes like air freshener. Uh, well, no, actually, I. I don't. I didn't use the. It turns out that tea bag was supposed to be an air freshener. Uh, I didn't use the. I didn't go that route. It's. It's. Uh, it's all fresh. It's fresh pine needles. As a coffee. You well, want me to advertise this as coffee? Well, it's with coffee. So you have to have the coffee as well. We're putting this in coffee. That, that's the idea. It's. It's festive. It's. It's made from like real Christmas trees. <laughs> no. Well, that's two unexpected results for this. Um, this holiday season, I guess we'll have to try again in uh, Vlogmas 2018. Sorry.